So sitting up with your legs outstretched, roll those shoulders back and pull them down. And then roll the shoulders forward, up to the ears, back and pull them down. And then rest your hands on your thighs and pull your toes up towards you. And then push your toes away. <clears throat> and then pull your toes up. And then push them away. And then just relax them. And then put your hands on the floor behind your bum. And just push yourself forwards. So you push that chest forward and squeeze those shoulder blades back. Breathing in and then breathing out and then release your hands on your legs and roll yourself forwards, reaching down towards those feet, hold behind your thighs and just pull your body forward a bit onto your front bottom. And then stretch, feeling those vertebrae, try to stretch them evenly so you have a nice even curve of your back and let your head just come down. And then sit yourself up nice and tall. Up your hands on the floor behind. Push yourself up, take your eyes up to the sky, push your chest forward. Pull those shoulder blades back and together. And then settle yourself down on your bottom again, hand on your thighs. And then we're gonna curl back down to flat on the floor. So drop the, drop the pelvis back. Drop the vertebra back one at a time. So really curl the middle of your back and through your waistband, all the way down to the ground. Take your arms over your head. Push your fingers away from your toes. Stretch your body. Take hold of your right wrist in your left hand and pull it all the way over to the left side of the mat. So walk your head and keep your shoulders flat on the floor and your hips flat on the floor. And then walk your legs to the left as well. So you're across your left leg over your right leg. So you're holding your right hand and your right leg, <clears throat> stretching all the way down the right hand side. Big breath in, breathe out, push those fingers away from the toes. And then come back to the middle. And then take the left hand and pull that over to the right hand side of the mat. And then just pivot your body so you get into a curve and then walk your legs to the right hand side as well. And you can cross that right leg over the left leg and push the left hand away from the left foot so you're stretching all the way down that side. And then walk yourself so your feet come back to center, arms back to the center. Take your hands all the way up to the sky into the chest, roll yourself all the way up and reach yourself forward towards those feet. So soften your knees, reach yourself forward. Yeah, so have your knee, are you all right, Anne? You're silenced. Knees are a bit soft, push the right knee down, push the left knee down. Just getting rid of some noises off. Okay, push the right knee down, push the left knee down, pull yourself forward. Mm. Keeping yourself forward like this, stretching that back. Yep. And then, so when you're in this position, Anne, and to cut, Jane, your back's got a good curve, but I'd like you to come more onto your front bottom, Jane, so you've got more bend at the hip. <laughs> And add more push out here above the pelvis. So you're pushing this lower back and pulling the breastbone towards the, the legs. That's it. And then sitting yourself up nice and tall. Both hands a bit further behind you on the floor. Lean back onto your hands and then push that chest up and stretch opening backwards over your arms here. So I've got my elbows a little bit bent, breathing in and breathing out. And then release and sit yourself tall. Okay, grab your roller, cross over them, put it across the mat. Can we use the ball? Yeah, you can use that soft ball if you want. So lay your elbows back on the roller or your forearm. So to avoid your elbow on it, Jane, just get your forearm on the roller. 
So have yeah. the roller down at the bottom ribs or the ball, and then just opening yourself all the way over. Support your head if you need to. And stretch that chest up to the sky and open. And then lift your head up so you come back up so you're leaning on it. And then move the roller up a bit towards your head a bit more. Holding onto that head and opening, breathing out. Let, that, let those um, ribs open up. Big breath in and out and bring the head back up. And then move that roller up towards the shoulders a bit more. <clears throat> and then open over the top. Breathing in and out. And then get the ball or the roller into the middle of your back. And then lift your bum up and we're just going to move it up towards the head. So we're rolling it and down towards the bottom ribs. So trying to get your head back and your bum down on the floor. So rolling, moving that roller. Good. Good, so just looking at you. So Jane, try to allow your head to go back to the floor. Oh. You're really trying to scrape, scrape your hair along the ground and your tailbone mm. along the ground as you move. It makes me dizzy, Emma. Okay. Big breaths in and out. And then pop that roller, uh, sorry, lean over towards the right hand side a bit. And just get those facet joints moving it up. So we're moving on the right hand ribs. And then just lay over onto the left side a bit. And feel those left ribs moving. And then pop your bum on the floor and sit yourself up and hop off the roller. Don't put it too far away. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. So, rolling the shoulders up to the ears, pulling them back and down. Again, roll the shoulders forwards, up to the ears, back and down. Put the fists on the floor beside your bum and lift yourself up straight. Let your bottom hang down. And then resting your bottom on the floor. <laughs> Take those arms all the way up into the sky, rolling those shoulders. All the way up into the sky, warming up those shoulder joints, rolling those shoulders. So chin up, eyes horizontal to the ground. So now bring your hands up in front of you, breathing in on the out breath, rolling all the way down to flat. All the way down to flat. Leave your arms by your side, roll your shoulders into your ears, slide them down. Bring that right knee towards your armpit. So pull that right knee up. So we're stretching these joints, pulling that right knee away from the left leg. <clears throat> pulling it up towards the armpit, breathing in and out. Pull that right knee over your body to the left hand side. And push that right arm away from you. Turn your eyes to the right. Pushing that left leg straight away from the top of your head. Pulling the right knee down to the floor. Pulling the right hip away from the right shoulder. And pushing the right hand away from the right shoulder. <coughs> Breathing in on the out breath. Roll back onto your back. Take hold of this right knee and pull that towards your shoulder, your armpit again. Stretching, <clears throat> pulling that leg apart. Now put that right foot on the floor, slide it out straight, and pull that left knee up and pull that knee in. Push the right leg away, pointing the toes, pushing it away, lengthening the head. And then take hold of the left leg and pull the left leg all the way over your body, knee to the floor, and push that left hand out to perpendicular to the body and turning the head so my eyes are looking left. I want to get my left ear on the floor. Breathing in on the out breath, pull that left knee to the ground, pull that left hip over, push the left shoulder to the ground and push the left hand away. Take breath in and breathe out. And then roll back onto your back and pull that left knee up into your armpit again. 
Push that right foot away. Stretching, reaching. And then bring that right knee in towards your body. So you've got both knees in. And you're going to lift the tailbone up off the ground and bring the nose up towards the knee. So my knees are apart and my nose is coming between my knees. And then release. So my tailbone goes down on the ground and my head's back down. Breathing in. On the out breath, pull the knees in. Lift that tailbone up. And then release. And again, one more. Pulling in. And then release. Holding that body in neutral spine. So we've got the head back of the head on the ground. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, slide them down. And then feeling all of the ribs. So top ribs, middle ribs, bottom ribs are touching the floor. <clears throat> Angle the tailbone down towards the ground a bit so your waistband is light on the floor. Still holding onto my knees, my feet are off the ground. I'm going to drop the knees apart. Holding them as wide apart as I can, just let my feet flop. And I'm going to push against the inside of my knees with my arms. So I'm stretching those inner thigh muscles. Pushing the knees against my arms now. So I'm keeping this neutral spine, lengthen that head away, lengthen that neck, feel those shoulders, pull them up to the ears, pull them down. Feel all of the, all of the ribs on the ground, slightly light on the um, waistband of your trousers. Keep pushing the knees into the hands. Now release the push, breathing in, breathe out, let the push go and let those legs drop a bit further apart. Good. Breathing in, leap, pull those knees up towards your armpits, keeping your tailbone down. So we're bending <clears throat> the hip joint, we're moving the leg in that hip joint. So put it just, don't go into discomfort. And like I was saying earlier, remember your body's going to be a bit stiffer at the moment, just because it's colder, it's damper, we've had Christmas. Now rock from side to side. So pull your left knee down to the ground, pull the right knee. Let the pelvis rock. And then bring that back to, a, to stopping the rocking and pull the knees back up together using your arms. Pull the nose up to the knees and curl that back. And then take that head back to the floor. Find neutral spine, so shoulders up to the ears, pull them down. Feel the top ribs in the ground, feel the middle ribs, feel the bottom ribs. Push the tailbone down. And as you push the tailbone down to lift the waistband up, you'll feel your, your core muscles engage. Draw in like you're stopping yourself having a wee. Hold and squeeze. And take that right leg out to the ground. Still holding the left knee in. Slide that right foot out straight, clenching with the bum and easing that leg out. Drag that leg back in and bring that leg back up to the other one. So the back should stay in the same position all the time. Right leg's going down to the floor, toes touch the floor, slide it out. Keep those shoulders back and down. So feel the tension in the front of that hip or the stretch and feel the, how much your tummy muscles have to work to keep your back in this, in this neutral position. So that's how much they should work when you're walking. Bring your knee back up to the sky and foot back in and bring that knee back up. So when we go up the stairs, we lift that knee up, take the toe to the floor, slide that leg out straight. Feel those, those tummy muscles having to tighten. Feel those shoulder muscles having to work to keep your shoulders straight. Pull this knee up to the sky and pull that foot back in. Hold on to the right leg. Now let the left leg toe to the floor. Slide that leg out straight, keeping in that neutral spine position. Lengthen, stretch the front of the hip. Breathing in on the out breath, pull that foot back in, knee to the sky, bring it back above the hip. Shoulders back and down, don't let yourself hunch up. Make sure your ribs are touching the ground. Take that left toe down to the floor again. Take that left leg out straight, push that foot away from you. Drawing in your core, bring that foot back in, bring that knee back up above the hip. Take both toes down to the floor, keeping in neutral. 
keeping you to feel how much harder you have to work, clenching your tummy muscles, extending those feet away from your bum, but they're on the ground, so they're sliding away. Lengthen the head away from the tailbone, breathing in on the out breath, pull those feet back up, feel how much more you have to use your tummy muscles. Keeping neutral, keep those shoulders down, bring those feet up off the floor. Keeping the knees bent, we're gonna tap the heel over onto the floor, keep the knee bent. Lift that leg back up. Take that left leg, heel down to the floor. Tap it on the floor, lift it back up. Take that right leg, clench with the bum and pull the leg down rather than just lowering it with the thigh. Lift it back up. Clench the left buttock as you're lying like this. Pull that leg to the floor with the back of the leg with the buttock. Lift that leg back up. Clench with the right leg buttock and take the right leg down. Lift it back up. Clench with the left buttock. Take it down. Bring it back up. So keeping both feet off the ground, lengthen the head away. Shoulders into the floor, back uh, ribs in the floor. Bring your hands up, one either side of your knees, and take push your knees against outward against your hands. As you do that, can you feel your bum tighten? Release. Hold on to the outside of your legs. Push your knees outward. You should feel your bum clench. So that's the muscle we want to use as we lower. So now lower that right leg to the floor, keeping that muscle engaged, keeping that muscle clenching. Lift that right leg up, keeping that muscle clenching. <clears throat> Push the knees outward into the hands again. Lower that left leg down to the floor. So I can slide my hand along my thigh if I want to keep the tension against something. Lift that leg back up, but we need to teach ourselves to be able to engage that muscle without pushing against the hand, obviously. Take that right leg down again. One more on each side. So this muscle is the one that stabilizes the knee when we walk, stabilizes the hip, lift that leg back up. It stabilizes our ankle as our foot goes on the floor. It keeps our arch up because it keeps our leg externally rotated. Lift that leg back up. Okay, take both legs together, heels down to the floor, heels to the ground, extend those legs out straight, take the hands over the head, reaching, pushing the fingers away from the toes, taking the fingers up to the sky, rolling yourself all the way up, reaching forwards, leaning over those toes, pulling yourself forward. Good. Pulling yourself forward, stretching that back, breathing in, breathing out, sit up nice and tall. Take your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind. Lift and turn your body to the right, looking over that right shoulder, really pushing up, breathing in, and then breathing out, come back to centre. Breathe in here, take the right hand onto the left knee, left hand behind. Breathe in and then breathe out. As you turn around the other way, looking over that left shoulder. And then come back to center. Turn around to the right again. Left hand on right knee, turning around. Try and go a little bit further this time. And make sure that you're pushing off the back hand so you're keeping the torso vertical. So you're not slumping. So um, staying chest up a bit more. And that's good, but keep your head above your shoulders. Don't let your head fall forward. Good, and then come back round. And Jane, up on your middle bottom a bit more. Right hand on the left leg, lifting. Good, mum, keep both butt cheeks on the ground as you turn. So your tummy button is doing the turning. Your pelvis stays still. Your pelvis is like a flower pot and the plant is just turning in the top. So you're a sunflower turning around to the sun. Okay, facing forwards, breathing in, breathing out, rolling down towards these legs. No, we're not going backwards. She's preempting me. Sit up nice and tall. Okay, this time, fingers on the shoulders. Soften your knees and put the soles of your feet kind of together. Stay up on your middle bottom. So we're going to do the rotation again. Elbows back. 
So again, elbows back, chest up. So turn your tummy button to 90 degrees. So returning from here, from our core, and our pelvis is staying strong like the flower pot. And then come back to center, breathing in. Breathe out, turn the other way. So just go as far as you can go. Are you okay, Anne? Um, that really gets my lower back or something. Okay, so you, Jane and mum do that again. And put one hand on your leg, the other hand behind, turn. Turn to as far as is comfortable. Take your hands away, hold yourself and come back to centre. Take the other hand, push yourself, hold yourself and then ease yourself back. So you've got two types of exercise. You've got a concentric move with a muscle, which is the taking you to the action. And then you've got the eccentric, which is easing. So if you struggle with the taking away, then help yourself away, hold yourself there, and then you ease yourself back. Is that better on your back? Much better, yeah. Yeah, so, so what you've got to do is help yourself into the... So you can do the action. Your back isn't... There isn't a problem for you to do it because you're able to stretch. So therefore, you want to take yourself into the turn, hold yourself there with the tummy muscles, and then you ease yourself back. So normally where pain comes is that it's hard to turn, so you compromise and bend, and then you're turning wrong. So you get yourself stacked right, turn yourself around. So do it, turn yourself around, hold yourself there, take your hands off the floor, and then release back to the center. Put your hands back on the thing, turn yourself the other way, hold yourself there, ease yourself back. So it's the same thing I've been having mum do with the rope with rolling backwards. There's no point in doing it, um, doing the action to the full range of motion and doing it wrong. You want to do a smaller action and do it right and then improve on that. Okay, so sitting up tall. So everybody facing forward, sitting up tall. So um, mum, grab your rope. <laughs> so sitting up tall, arms horizontal. Collapse that pelvis, so we lay back onto the pelvis. Slowly down to the floor. So and push your lower back down here, pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. Mm. Lie down to flat, so arms by your side. So bend your knees up, feet up close to the bum. So we're not going to do the fish because that's going to aggravate Jane's elbow. We're no, do don't worry about me. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. We've done the roller. So we all we'll, we'll see. So feet are flat on the floor. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, into the floor, slide them down. Breathing in on the out breath, we're coming up into the bridge. So push off the heels, toes off the floor, curl your bottom up off the ground, clench your bum. Move that lower back, move that middle back, move the upper back and come up to straight. Push those fingers down towards the heels, clenching with the bum, breathing in, breathing out. Lowering the back down, one vertebra at a time, one at a time. Keeping that head and neck lengthened all the way down. Lower back, lower back, tailbone down. Arch the back at the bottom. Breathing in on the out breath. We're flattening the back, lifting the tailbone up, pushing through the heels into the floor. Squeezing, lifting, so slowly moving all the way up. All the way up, clenching with the bum. Breathing in on the out breath, lowering all the way down. All the way down, one glass for at a time. All the way back down to flat. So really moving, all of you make sure you're moving each verse for the same amount. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in on the out breath. Lifting, clenching, push through the heels. My toes are off the floor, pushing up. Once we're at the top, breathe in. Breathe out and take your arms all the way up and over your head. Keep those arms on the floor, breathing in on the out breath, lowering that back all the way down to the ground. Lowering, lowering, lowering. One vertebra at a time, all the way down to flat. Arch the back at the bottom and bring the arms back down by your side. Breathing in on the out breath, lifting all the way up. Lifting all the way up, clenching. 
pushing my fingers down towards my heels, lengthen my head and neck. I can rock my head a little bit side to side. Don't go mad with that. Just feel the necks loose. Bring the arms over the head. Breathing in. <clears throat> On the out breath, lower the back all the way to the floor. One vertebra at a time. Lowering, lowering, lowering. Lengthen the spine. Lower all the way down, using the tummy muscles. Arch the back at the bottom and bring the hands back down by your side. Breathing in. If you're feeling it in your, if you're getting cramp at all or feeling it in your uh, quads and hamstrings, put your feet closer to your bottom. Breathe out, flatten the back, push through the heels, squeeze, lift the bum up off the ground. Bring those arms up over your head. Holding yourself here, breathing out, lowering one vertebra at a time all the way down to the ground. <clears throat> Arch the back at the bottom, bring the arms back down by the side. Okay, we're gonna keep the hands by the side this time. Just make sure, you might wanna bring your feet a bit closer to your bum, Jane. And mum, make sure your feet are under your knees, close to your bum. Breathing in on the out breath, roll the shoulders up to the ears, slide them down. Clench with the bum, push through the heels and lift that body up off the ground, feeling the vertebra one at a time. Put your hands under your bottom and just check that you're even height off the floor. You can keep your hands there for a gauge if you want. Breathing in, you're going to push off that right heel, all the weights on the right leg. Lift that left knee up towards your face. Take that heel back to the floor. Lift that left leg back up again. So I'm keeping my knee bent, lowering that left knee down again. Lifting that left knee up, lowering it down. Hold yourself here, clench your bum, lift your body higher. Make sure you're staying the same height. <clears throat> All the weight on the left leg now, lift that right knee up. Lower that right knee down. So keeping the knee bent, the lever stays a short length, so it's not as hard work. Lift this right leg up. However, we're moving the hip, so we're, we're annoying the hip joint. Drop that right foot down again. Check your even. Lift that right leg up. Lower that right leg down. Make sure you're even. Lower the body back down to the floor. So you might notice that one bum holds you level and the other makes you drop. Arch the back, flatten the back, bring the right knee in towards the chest, the left knee in. We're just going to do a knee hug and lift the tailbone up. Bring the nose to the knees and release. Bring the nose to the knees. So we're going to release the lower back in case it's got a bit tight. Take the arms out like a scarecrow. Drop the knees to the right, turn the head left. Breathing in. On the out breath, bring the knees up, drop the knees to the left, turn the eyes right. Bring those knees back up, put the feet back on the floor. Rolling the shoulders up to the ears, into the floor, slide them down. Bring, bridging up again, pushing off the heels, clenching the bum. On the out breath, lift that back up off the ground. <clears throat> holding yourself high. So I find it easier to lift my left leg up than my right leg, so I have to concentrate on that. So pushing my fingers down to the heels, put the weight on the right leg, straighten that left leg out. Oh God. Now bend it back and put it on the ground. Breathing in, push off that left, that right heel, the weight's on the right leg, straighten the left leg out. Oh. Put the left leg back down again. Okay, one more, hips up high. Straighten the left leg out. Put the left leg down and then lower the body back down. Oh. Oh. Bring the knees into the chest again. <clears throat> the knee hugs again, lift the tailbone up. Have the, have the nose to the knees, do it three times, just to loosen that back. Arms out like a scarecrow, drop the knees to the left. Eyes to the right, drop the knees to the right, eyes to the left. So by doing by doing the knee hugs and this dropping the knees over, we loosen that back up. 
Okay, feet back into the position under the under the knees. We're gonna do the other leg. Roll the shoulders up to the ears into the floor, slide them down, push the fingers to the heels. Weight is on my left leg. Sorry, weight's on both feet, toes are up, peel the body up off the floor. Come up into the bridge. Push the weight onto that left leg. Toes are up. Lift that right leg up straight. <clears throat> Put that right heel back down. Make sure the body's level. Oh, Take that right leg up straight. Bring that leg back down and level. So this one is easier because we're not moving the hip, but it's harder because we make the lever longer. Straighten the right leg out. Bend it down and lower the body back down to the ground. Oh, God. Bring the right knee in. Bring the left knee in. Tuck <laughs> Your daughter's not paying any attention to your groans, Virginia. I know, she's not, is she? I can't hear her. I'm zoned out. I'll make them louder then. Arms out <laughs> like a scarecrow. Drop your knees to the right. Oh. Turn your eyes left. I couldn't hear her groaning. She's pretending she can't hear. <laughs> your knees to the left, eyes to the right. Well, I can see who's, I can hear a groan, and then I look and I see the, the yellow circles around whichever. Okay. Lengthen your legs out straight. Take the arms over your head. Push your fingers from your toes. Breathing in. On the out breath, rolling yourself all the way up to sitting. Reaching forwards over those feet. I kept my hands high, keeping my hands high, and I'm leaning forwards. And then I'm coming up to straight, and then I'm leaning back. Coming up to straight. So bring your hands and put them on your back and push your chest forward. So pushing the chest forward in this straight position. Now let those arms hang down. Keeping the shoulders in that place, Jane, chest up. Bring those arms up in front, keeping those shoulders back and the chest up. So my arms are straight. Now I'm gonna reach forward with my hands so I open my back muscles. And now I'm gonna pull my shoulders back but keeping my arms straight. And now I'm gonna reach forwards, stretching those, those shoulder blades apart. Now I'm gonna breathe out. Pull those shoulder blades together. Let those arms come down to the ground. That's where our shoulders have to live. Lift those arms up. Take those arms up to the sky. Bring those arms so horizontal. Is your back hurting, Anne? Yes. <laughs> okay, bend your knees. Bend your knees and pull yourself forward. That's better. Pull yourself forward. So when we do the sitting stuff, have your knees bent because right. it will take the load off your... First of all, what we've got to do is teach neutral spine. So we've got to teach that we sit on the middle bottom of our pelvis and our spine comes out straight. Then, once we, then we challenge neutral spine by moving the arms around so that the gravity changes. And then we can try to straighten the legs. But if you have the legs straight, so that pulls me in my back in this sort of bra strap area. So we've got to let go of the legs to hold the neutral, and then we build, bring the legs in. Because at first, we can't even hold ourselves straight there. So that's what we're going to start by doing. Okay, so you can let your knees drop out and have your soles of your feet together if that's more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, lengthen the legs step. Right, so we're going to roll back down to flat. <laughs> roll yourself back down to flat. And we're going to do a bit more tum some tummy stuff. So roll the shoulders up to the ears into the floor, slide them down. So we're in neutral. Drawing in that core, taking that right leg straight up into the sky. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Lower, bless you. Take that right leg down to the floor. <sighs> so, Anne, if you want, bend your knee up and bring that right knee up like that with a knee bent. So, everybody else, have your leg as straight as you can. And then take that. Right. Right. My back's fine doing this. 
Yeah, take that right leg back down to the floor. That seems to be the problem. So can you put your, if you put your right leg straight, can you make it so, so first of all, have the legs straight, roll the shoulders up to the ears into the floor, slide them down. Make sure the ribs are all on the ground, lower back slightly elevated, clench with the tummy muscles and lift that leg up. Can you lift that leg straight without aggravating your back? Yes. Okay. Hold this, take this right leg to the floor. We'll do a few on the left leg. So the back has to stay still. Bring that left leg up. Lower that left leg down. It's the holding yourself vertical and doing things, which is, you know, what I mean, sit, bring that left leg up. Sitting on the floor is hard. If we were sitting on a chair, it would be easier. Lower that left leg down. Lift that left leg up. Right, hold that left leg in the sky and now bring the right leg up as well. How's that on your back? It's okay. I mean, it, I, it, yeah. it, I'm feeling it, but it's not uh, bad. Okay, so lengthen the head and the neck from the tailbone. So we're in neutral, keeping that neutral spine. Really draw those tummy muscles in like you're stopping yourself having a wee passing wind or whatever, squeeze hard, lower that right leg to the floor. As you lower it down, you have to squeeze harder. Don't yeah. let your back lift at all. If anything, push your lower back towards the floor. Lift that right leg back up. <sighs> Clench and hold and lower that left leg down. So now we don't have the Ooh. other leg supporting us. We've got to support from that time. Oh, Lift that leg back up. Ooh. Oh, one, more, one more on each side. Jane, try and get your legs vertical. Lower the leg down. They won't come. They never come vertical. Oh. Oh. Bring it back up. Okay, so bring it all the way back up. Uh. Left leg down. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Me, ladies, bring that leg back up. Oh. Bend your knees. Oh. Bend your knees, keep the feet in the air, bend the knees and pull. So I'm holding behind my behind my thighs, pull those knees towards my um towards my tummy. And push that tailbone away, make sure that the lower back is lifted slightly. And pulling those knees up towards your chest. Okay, straightening the legs as much as you can. Hold behind your thighs. Slide your hands up towards your feet so your upper body comes up a bit. And then Ooh. ease down, breathing in. On the out breath, sliding up. In breath, easing down. Sliding up, so using the tummy muscles to bend and lift. Easing down. One more like that, sliding up. Ooh. Easing down. So Ooh. leave yourself here. Hands on the floor, roll the shoulders into the floor, slide them down. And we're going to lift the bum up off the ground and ease. So Ooh. we're pushing the lower back into the floor, which lifts the tailbone up. Ooh. Push the back in the floor. So we tighten the tummy muscles. Two more. Ooh. And one more. Ooh. Bend those knees, pull them into your chest. Bring your nose to your knees. Put your right foot on the ground. Put your left foot on the ground. Straighten those legs out. Take those hands over your head and push your fingers from your toes. Take your fingers all the way up to the sky. Chin into the chest. Roll yourself up to sitting. And then slide, swing your legs around and come onto all fours. Oh, no peace for the wicked. No, absolutely. How do you know we're wicked? It's the last day of 2020. We've got to say good riddance to it. Absolutely. So hands on the floor, middle fingers are parallel. Put your shoulder, your arm, your elbows, the inside of your elbows to point forward, so your shoulders pull together. Knees are vertical, sorry, the thighs are vertical, pull those knees apart on the ground so you clench your bum. Arch that back up, take your eyes to the knees. 
And then breathing out, sink your back down, take your eyes up to the sky. Arch your back up, take your eyes to the knees. Sink your back down, take your eyes to the sky. Go into the neutral spine. And then, yeah, so down with the pelvis a little, Jay. Chest forward towards your fingers. And then glide your body backwards. Don't let your tailbone sink down. So bend your hip. So this is a good one for you, Jane, because you need to get that hip joint bending. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And, and so keep your chest up a bit and then come back up onto all fours. So I'm keeping my pelvis horizontal to the floor. I'm not allowing it to tilt to 45 degrees. Going back. Good, mum, don't, don't hunch your shoulders up. Keep your shoulders down and back. Come back up onto all fours. Going back onto your heels again. Good. And then back up onto all fours. Drop down onto your elbows and slide your hand arms forward and come down onto your tummy. Okay, we're going to do some back, it's back opening. <clears throat> so, forehead on the ground, arms like a pitchfork, legs out straight, feel the floor on the tops of each foot. Clench your bum and push your pubic bone into the ground. Resting your chest on the floor. Do a breathe in. On the out breath, lift those hands and forearms up, keep the elbows down. And then lower the hand and forearm down. Breathing in on the out breath, hand and forearm up. And lower down. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the ground, drawing the tummy in. So you lift your tummy off the floor, so you're resting on the pubic bone and the bottom rib. Breathing in on the out breath, hand and forearm up, keep the elbow on the floor. Lower the hand and forearm down. Keep that tummy elevated. Hand and forearm up. Hold yourself here. Lift that whole arm up into the sky. And then touch that elbow down to the floor. Breathing in. On the out breath, arms up. Hands above the elbow all the time. Clench the bum. Push the pubic bone in the ground. Holding those arms up. Lower those elbows down. Keep the hand and forearm up. Lift those arms up, hold them up high, pulse them into the sky for three, two, one. Hold them there and lower them down to the ground. Whole hand, everything on the floor. Breathing in. On the out breath, roll the shoulder up to the ears, up to the sky, pull them down. Lift the hand and forearm up. Lift the whole arm up. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the floor, drawing in the tummy. Lift those arms up for three, two, one. Lower those elbows to the floor. Lower yourself down. Breathing in. On the out breath, lift the hand and forearm up. Whole arm up. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the ground, draw the tummy up and lift that forehead up off the ground. So you're pushing your toes away from the top of your head. Lift those hands up. For three, two, one, touch those hands down. Oh. One more, breathing in on the out breath. Lift the hand and forearm up, lift the whole arm up, pull those shoulders down, drawing the core and lengthen the legs so my knees and feet are off the ground. Bring the forehead up so that my head and toes are pushing as hard away from each other as they can. Pulse those arms up for three, two, one, and lower. Oh. Bring your hands under your forehead. Woo. Breathing in on the out breath, clench the bum, draw the tummy in, rest on the bottom rib. Lengthen those legs, tighten the thighs so your knees and feet are off the ground. Breathing in on the out breath. Bring that right leg into the sky for three, Two, one, hold it there. Tighten your thighs, Jane, and straighten your knees so your knees are off the floor. Lift that left leg up for three, 
Two, see lifting the thigh. One, mm. hold those legs. Mm. Push those toes away. Can you lift the right leg up? Mm. Two, one, lift the left leg up. Two, one, lower down. So you're clenching your bum, lower them to the ground. So you're going to draw your tummy in to protect your lower back, clench your bum, and you're lifting the thighs up and down. So breathing in on the out breath, roll the shoulders up to the ears, pull them down. Drawing in the tummy, push the pubic bone in the ground, clenching the bum. Tighten the thighs so your knees and feet come off the floor. Breathing in on the out breath, lift the right leg up. Three, so my thigh lifts. Two, one, the lift comes from the bottom. Lift the left leg, clench the bum, lift mm. three. Squeeze the bum, two, oh. squeeze and lower everything to the floor. Oh. Well done, so it's a bum exercise this, you're squeezing hard with the bum. All right, bring those hands out wide again, elbows down towards the side, hands, fingertips are level with your ears. Breathing in on the out breath, lengthen those legs away, clench the bum, tighten the thighs, push the knees, the knees and feet off the ground. Breathing out, pushing off those forearms, lift that chest up off the ground, keeping the bottom rib on the ground. So really opening your chest, lift your tummy up, clench your bum, so my pubic bone is pushing really hard in the floor, my bunny's light on the ground, my bottom ribs touching the ground, my chest is really squeezing to open. And then lower down to the floor. Breathing in, breathing out, have a breather. Breathing in, clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the floor, lengthen your legs so your knees and feet are off the ground. Drawing in the tummy, breathing out, push up off those hands, keeping that bottom rib on the floor, really driving your chest forward, mm. lengthen your head away from your toes. Mm. Really long, good, shoulders back and down, mum, and see mm. if you can come high, can you come higher off the ground now? Oh. And lower. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So, uh, so this is protecting your lower back. So we've got to get where the lower back comes into strife is because it gets it does all the bending. So the bending has to come because in the in the front of your hip here. So you push your bum into the floor, clenching. Then you protect the lower back by pushing that up to the ceiling. So I'm pushing with here pushing my hip bone into the ground. And then I'm protecting here, so I humped that up a bit. So now I'm driving my chest into the ground. So then I'm gonna push off my arms and open that chest. So I feel it all between my shoulder blades and upper back. Yeah. So both, yes, that's much better, Anne. Now, Jane, chest forward more, really squeeze my shoulder blades oh. and then knees down. So we've got to get the, the straightness and the bending in different places in our body. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Breathing in on the out breath, cleanse the bum, push that in the floor, lift the tummy up, and then push off those off that bottom rib and lift that upper body up. Good. Shoulders down good. the back, mum. That's good. Much better. Good. So all of you are getting a less less hunch in the hunchback area. Can we go down? Yeah, go down. Sorry, forgot to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bring your hands down to your bottom ribs. And we're going to go all the way through into up dog and into child pose. But I want you to focus on clenching the bum and keeping the bend, the, the bend in the hip. So your, your pubic bone is, is as low to the ground as it can be. And your tummy button is in, is engaged and pulling your back to the ceiling, your lower back, and you're opening and peeling your chest on. So breathing in, clench the bum, lengthen the legs. I've got my hands on the floor by the bottom ribs, elbows in the air, shoulders back and down. Breathing out, sternest position. Breathing in, push off the hands, peel the front of the body up, lift, tummy button stays tight, bending at that hip, shoulders back, Coming up onto my knees. Ooh. 
I'm all the way bottom in the air, back into child's oh. And release. Let those hands hang forward. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in. Walk those hands to the left hand side of the mat and stretch that right side. And then walk those hands to the right hand side of the mat and stretch the left. And then come back to center and come back up onto all fours. <sighs> the middle fingers are parallel, roll those shoulders up to the ears and pull them down. Watch that body up, rise to the knees. Sink that body down, eyes to the sky. Come into neutral. Take the weight up to the left leg. And take the right leg straight out behind, toes on the floor, toes stay on the floor. Yeah, bring that knee back towards the elbow. Take that leg out straight now so it's level with your bum. Good, bring that knee towards the elbow. So this is walking, neutral spine, the leg moves. Knee comes up, the body goes over, the leg goes out straight. Now lift that leg up behind you, up to the sky. Good. Let the leg swing down and come through underneath. Knee to the elbow. Take that leg out straight behind. Chest down, Jane. Lift the leg up to the sky. Clench the bum. Bring the leg back down. Next, rest it next to the other one. So we draw all the exercises together in this one. Shoulders, uh, elbows forward, shoulders back and down, weight over to the right knee, left leg out, out on the floor behind you. So we gradually pick it up, take the knee towards the elbow, staying in neutral, excellent. Take that leg out straight behind. Good. Bring that knee to the elbow. Take that leg straight out behind, hold it straight. Lift the leg up to the sky. So this is what we were just doing on our tummy on the floor. Don't let your lower back sag. Knee to the ground, knee to the elbow. Leg out straight behind, tummy really tight. Lift that knee up, clench with the bum. Bring that leg back down, knee to the elbow. One more, out straight. Lift that leg up. Clenching, don't sag the lower back and put that leg next to the other one. Oh, uh, curl round the could wag the dog, I think it's called. Curl round so your right ear is going towards your right hip and your right hip coming towards your right ear. And then curl the other way so the left ear goes round to remove the waist. Curl to the right. Curl to the left. Stay central, turn that left hand palm up and slide it through under the right arm. Thread that needle, push it through, breathing in. On the out breath, push off that right hand, bring that left hand all the way up into the sky, facing the left. And bring that left hand all the way through under the right hand again. One more that way, all the way up to the sky. Stretch and then bring that hand all the way through. And then come up onto all fours. And take that right hand, push that through. Palm up, pushing off the left hand, keeping that, pushing that right hand through. And then pushing off the left hand, come up, bring that right hand all the way around, lifting, facing the right, and then bring that arm all the way through, under the left hand again. Breathing in and out. Pushing off that hand, coming all the way up high again. 
opening that chest, stretching that lower back, spread that arm all the way through again. And then pushing off that right hand, bring the hands next to each other. Arch the back up, eyes to the knees. Sink the back down, eyes to the sky. Walk those knees forward. Just come to sitting, swing those legs around. On the home straight. Holding onto the back of the legs. Pull that chest up to the sky. Take your eyes up high. Breathing in on the out breath. Round the body forward. You can keep your knees a bit bent. Round the body forward. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Left hand on right knee, right hand behind, turning. So turning loosens. Keep those knees soft. Right hand on left knee, turning around the other way. So my back hand keeps the body vertical. The hand on the knee does the turning. Come back to centre. Keep those knees soft. Pull that body forward onto the middle bottom. Take those arms out really wide up to the sky. Thumbs onto your forehead and then push them up high to the sky. Eyes looking up. Big breath in, fill those lungs up with air. Big breath out, bring those arms all the way wide. Pop them on your thighs. Roll your shoulders. Are you good? Oh, blimey. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. You are Ooh. welcome. I think we'll go for a lie down now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No, it was really... It was invigorated. Yeah. 